So tonight we're shooting in the moon. Um, we have about a 60% illuminated moon. Uh, clear skies just for another hour or two uh, before some clouds come in. It's about minus 15 outside. With the windshield it almost brings it down to minus 20. It's real cold. Um, but I just wanted to get some quick shots of the moon, compare some different pieces of equipment that I have, and yeah, really just experiment with what I have. So I'm going to be using these interchangeably tonight. Uh, starting from the left, we have the inch and a quarter adapter that goes to a T-ring for a camera. Uh, and right beside that is the two inch version of that, if you want to just hook that right up to the reducer, the focal reducer. Um, at the very top there, you have the Celestron inch and a quarter visual back. At the very bottom, you have uh, a three times Barlow. Uh, it's a Celestron day, everything's Celestron, I just noticed. We also have the star diagonal. And I'm going to be using these interchangeably tonight. Pointing at the moon just to pick out different details and see seeing the difference between them all. Um, and just get a better understanding of, of how these work. So this is the rig for tonight. Uh, you have the Celestron 6SE Next Star. Uh, underneath there is my acquisition PC, uh, just a mini PC with the 7 inch display attached to it. Uh, and there's just the camera and some cables and such. Uh, what we have here is the uh, inch and a quarter uh, adapter to T-ring that connects to the Canon camera, uh, as well as the uh, one and a quarter visual back that screws onto the back of the reducer. I also have the 2 inch connector that just connects uh, the reducer to the T-ring um, and I'll try that out tonight too just to see some differences, if any, I doubt there will be. Actually I think I'll just have to change my focus a bit because the distance between the reducer and the T-ring changes just a bit. This is a video with uh, the one and a quarter inch adapter to T-ring, visual back, and the focal reducer. With the inch and a quarter adapter, it's easy to switch over to the three times Barlow. Stick the Barlow between the inch and a quarter adapter and the visual back, and you're set. This configuration really extends your imaging train, so make sure your gear is on there securely. And be cautious of the room between your camera and the mount. Here's some video of what the moon looks like with a 3 times bottle attached. You can really pick out fine details, stare inside craters, and explore the terminator of the moon. After using the three times Barlow and the inch and a quarter uh, T-ring adapter, uh, I'm now switching over to the uh, full two inch adapter that goes straight from the focal reducer to the T-ring. Uh, so you can see, I do need to zoom in, or sorry, not zoom in, but focus a lot more. Bring that down, nice. All right, so yeah, this is what the uh, two inch uh, T-ring adapter uh, looks like alone, pointed straight at the moon with the 6SE. I can't really see any difference myself between this and the inch and a quarter adapter. So tonight was a success. I was able to shoot the moon um, using the different attachments that I had, the inch and a quarter and the two inch 
I didn't see any changes or differences, um, but I will take this into post and see if there's any discrepancies or changes there. Maybe one gets a focus a bit better, maybe one has a better field of view, but we'll see. I also tried the three times uh, Barlow lens with the inch and a quarter adapter. Overall, it was a success and I'm happy uh, that I got out to shoot tonight. Uh, the clouds haven't rolled over yet, but they are coming. Um, anyways, it's about minus 20 out right now, so I'm gonna get inside and uh, warm these toes. So I'm back inside and I have pics inside open. I dragged in my two raw images to see the differences between them. The moon rotated slightly over the night, but you can see that the image with the quarter inch adapter fell nicely inside the two inch version when you dragged one over the other. In the end, it was nice to get some different shots of the moon, which I'll show you at the end of this video. It was also nice to learn that if I use the two inch adapter, uh, it'll give me a slightly larger image due to it being a shorter distance from the focal reducer and the T-ring, compared to using the inch and a quarter, the visual back. I also learned that I should clean my Barlow lens a bit more. Um, after looking back at the footage, I saw some dirt marks on the Barlow, which came off easily after the fact. And yeah, here are my processed shots of the moon. If you're interested in any of the gear that I've uh, shown in this video, be sure to check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.